hello guys welcome back to the c programming tutorial and in this tutorial you will see how to read and write multiple records in the file multiple records means in previous lecture we have studied how can we enter records in our file and in previous lecture we have re recorded only one file at a time but today we will see how can we write many records suppose records of five student and then how to show the records of all the student at a single time so coming to the turbo c++ where i will illustrate how can we do this so first of all take here some data structure sorry file pointer and character name of size 20 and department the same that we have done in previous lecture and one integer out of type roll number now clear the screen and here for reading in which mode we have to read in append mode so can we can write many data at a single time so first of all open file in append mode in which file a dot txt and our mode will be append here i'm reading writing data to the file writing data to the file now we will take input from the user printf enter name scanf percent d comma address sorry no address only name and next printf enter roll scanf percent d comma address roll and once again printf enter department scanf percent d sorry percent s comma department now we have uh, taken input from the user now our work is to print fp comma percent s percent d and percent once again s and here we need to change the line name role and what department and here printf records added to the end of file of file now we need to close the file fp and here get ch now check for uh, yeah we have uh, and now compile the code yeah we don't have any error next thing enter name suppose rohit sorry somewhere we must have any problem percent d here sorry sorry we have made a mistake and now once again coming to that file where i have stored and always remember if you have made main any mistakes in this then first of all go to that file and here see here our rohit has printed and all the value as garbage value because of that mistake so first of all delete this file now it's fine 
one second coming to the turbo c plus plus now run the code here money is column number is 20 and department is btech now records added to the end of file once again run we will run it three time and we can also use do while loop for the, the for this purpose but here i'm not including that loop once again we will write how many records three records bca yeah once again check in that file is our record is present or not here a.txt here see we have entered three records manish 20 vtech rohit and rohan that all records are printed in our file for permanent and next thing that we need to do is to read the all the file at the same time so for reading purpose i am here clearing all the writing process and I always remember in appending we sorry in record adding records of multiple records we need to append the file not write the file appending means our original data will be there and next data will be added at the last clear and now we will open that file now what we are going to do reading data first of all open the file if open a dot txt comma address in which mode read mode and now we need to read the file here we will print a while if scan f fp comma percent s percent d percent s change the line and here where i will store in name address roll number once again what department this is our fscanf function while if scanf not equal to end of file until we need to print so printf name here change the line percent s once again change the line roll percent d once again change the line and after that department percent s comma name and next is roll and next is department yeah we have printed and here what we have done we just read line by line and until our while loop our f scanf not encountered with the end of file we have to print all the records so here close the file and get ch now compile for any error we don't have any error here print yeah name manis roll number 20 department btech for first record for second record name rohit roll number 23 and name and department mba for third name rohan roll number 12 and department bc so we have printed all the details successfully so in this method we can write multiple records to a file and we can also use do while loop so and in ask we can ask as that press 1 to enter record press 2 to show record and whenever user will press 1 it will enter the records and it will they will ask to enter the record so this is how we can do this and in next lecture we will see how can we make name as a primary key so that in our program name will always behave as a primary yeah user student id will always will behave as a primary yeah we will make roll number as a primary key so in the next lecture we will see detail on this